So first off, take a look at this blue line right here. We've got this blue line and it's moving around all over the place. What exactly is going on here? Well, this line is showing us where things are talking. That's, that's our X axis. And then on the Z axis, or maybe you could call it the Y axis, we can see uh, how loud things are talking. So we can see what channel or what frequency they're talking on, and we can see how loud these bits of activity are. This line represents all of the raw radio frequency activity in the band right now. So we can see uh, all of the activity being caused by all of the, the wireless devices out there. If I turn on a wireless transmitter, it's not gonna take you long to notice this spike here. This spike is representing a transmitter that is operating in the band right now. We can see it holding very steadily there. But to get some more detail, I'm gonna enable color by utilization by clicking on the density button. This shows us how often things are talking. So remember height is how loud, where is, uh, is what channel or what frequency, and the color shows us how often something is talking. So if you see a blue spike, that's a very short signal like a clap. Listen to a clap. A clap is there and it's gone. It doesn't stick around for very long. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't interrupt our webinar. Whereas if somebody came in here with an air horn right now and blasted off an air horn, it would totally interrupt our webinar. Blue is like a clap. Red is constant activity like an air horn. So blue shows, says that something is talking 10% of the time or less, not very often. Um, let's see, I have a question really quick here. So um, one question I have is I cannot see amplitude, only time. How do I turn on amplitude? The amplitude is shown by the height of the graph. So up and down, that is that is amplitude. So a blue spike is a very short signal like a clap. It's less than 10% utilization. Something It's not talking very often. It happened very quickly, and then it was gone. Uh, green means about 20% utilization. Uh, yellow means about 40%, and red means at least 50% utilization. Something is talking at least 50% of the time. And if we want to get more detail, we can visit the utilization graph, and we can set a threshold. Let's look at utilization at negative 60 dBm. So I'm going to adjust this down or rather up to negative 60 dBm. At negative 60 dBm, we are utilizing, we are, we are talking 100% of the time. This device is talking absolutely constantly. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the waterfall view. The waterfall view shows us what's happening over a period of time. It's kind of like a seismometer for an earthquake, except instead of using scribbles, it uses colors. So watch what happens when this device switches to another channel. You'll notice that this red stripe right here stops. It stops and then it switches over here to about Wi-Fi channel nine. Now down here, the color doesn't show us the utilization. Instead, the color shows us how loud something is talking. Notice how this red stripe, the most intense part of the color, corresponds to the loudest part of this signature in the spectrum. And as we kind of taper off here and go down here, we notice that it goes from green and then blue, and then eventually black. Black means that there was really nothing to report, nothing happened there at all. But we can see that this device switched from one channel to another. We can actually see where it moved. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is the navigation waterfall. You may have noticed that there's two waterfalls here. We have a primary waterfall view, and then we have the navigation waterfall over here on the left-hand side. The navigation waterfall shows us the entire recording from start to finish. Down here at the bottom, we can see this is where we started up Channelizer. We had a Y-Spy plugged in, and it just started recording automatically. Up here at the top, we are adding more and more sweep data to this over time, so we're kind of compressing this view down. But this means that we get a waterfall for the entire recording from start to finish. So what I can do here is I can actually pause this data. So notice that we have frozen our data out here and we're still adding sweep data to the top. This is a lot like a DVR. I have paused it right now because I need to go get up and, and uh, make some popcorn or something like that. And while it's paused, it's going to keep recording in the background. And at any time, I can hit play to pick up where I left off. We can also rewind and fast forward. If I want to rewind, I can actually drag backwards or drag down and look at something that happened in the past. This is data that we gathered in the past. If I want to look at this time right here where it switched channels, I can drag up and center on that, and there we go. We've now selected that event. We can also change the amount of time that we have, uh, that we have selected. I can uh, drag these navigation handles up and down to select more time. So now we have gathered 
we, we put more data out here. I can also set an exact time span with a plus and minus marks down here. So uh, another feature we've got in the navigation waterfall is the ability to add notes. So I'm actually going to create a note here. Let's go down here to where we turn this thing on. And I'm going to click the note button. I'm going to say uh, power on. And one question I have is uh, what, what device are you using to generate this activity? This is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless uh, signal generator, uh, often used for manufacturing environments and things like that. Uh, one question is, uh, what, I have a question about uh, amplitude as well. Uh, Alexander, give me just a moment and I will address your question. That's a great question. So I'm adding a note here and I'm going to take a note to show when this started transmitting and say, I'm going to call it power on. This is when the device powered on. And then I'm going to click done. And I want to clean up my selection a little bit. I want to kind of get it exact. So I'm going to drag it around. There we go. So now I've selected exactly when this thing powered on. And let's do another one for do uh, to show when we did a channel switch. So here's where we switch to a different channel and uh, and I will drag that up and down. We can check out these notes by visiting the notes tab and I can actually uh, jump to these if I want. I can jump to a previous event or jump to a future event. You can attach pictures to these as well if you need to take a picture of something. Um, here's the biggest thing to keep in mind about this. It's all about the, the intensity of the color. If you see a red spike, how often is that red spike talking? It's talking at least 50% of the time. That thing is talking a lot. It's going to keep Wi-Fi devices from talking if it's talking 100% of the time. Whereas right now, we can see a gentle curve shape on channel 11. What do you think is going on here? Well, that curve shape is the management overhead of a wireless network. It's transmitting management overhead at a legacy data rate, like an 802.11b data rate. So it's making a curve shape. And we can see uh, that it's only talking about 10% of the time. Is 10% of the time a big deal? No, not really. If it was talking 50% of the time, then we'd have something to worry about. That's what you want to think about when you're performing spectrum analysis.